A fireship or fireship, used in the days of wooden road or sailing ships, was a ship filled with combustibles, deliberately set on fire and steered into an enemy fleet, in order to destroy ships, or to create panic and make the enemy break formation. Ships used as fireships were usually old and worn out or purpose-built in expensive vessels. An explosion ship or hull burner was a variation on the fire ship, intended to cause damage by blowing up in proximity to enemy ships. Fire ships were famously used to great effect by the English against the Spanish Armada during the Battle of Gravelines. History Ancient Era First uses possibly the oldest account of the military use of a fire ship is recorded by the Greek historian Thucydides on the occasion of the failed Athenian Sicilian expedition. In the episode, the Athenian expeditionary force successfully repels an attack by the Syracusans. The rest of the Athenian force the enemy tried to burn by means of an old merchantman which they filled with faggots and pine wood set on fire and let drift down the wind which blew full on the Athenians. The Athenians, however, alarmed for their ships, contrived means for stopping it and putting it out, and checking the flames and the nearer approach of the merchantmen, thus escaped the danger. A fire ship was used in the Battle of Red Cliffs on the Yangtze River when Huang Gai assaulted the enemy naval force with a fire ship filled with bundles of kindling dry reeds, and fatty oil. Fire ships were decisively employed by the Vandals against the Armada sent by the Eastern Roman Empire in the Battle of Capbon. The invention of Greek fire in 673 increased the use of fire ships, at first by the Greeks and afterward by other nations as they came into possession of the secret of manufacturing this substance. In 951 and again in 953 Russian fleets narrowly escaped destruction by fire ships. Age of fighting sail refinement While fire ships were used in the medieval period, notably during the Crusades, these were typically ships that were set up with combustibles on an ad hoc basis. The career of the modern fire ship, as a naval vessel type designed for this particular function and made a permanent addition to a fleet, roughly parallels the era of cannon-armed sailing ships, beginning with the defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588 and lasting until the English victory over the Turks at the Battle of Navarino in 1827. The first modern fire ships were put to use in early 17th century Dutch and Spanish fleet actions during the Thirty Years' War. Their use increased throughout that century, with purpose built fire ships a permanent part of many naval fleets, ready to be deployed whenever necessary. While only used sparingly during the Napoleonic Wars, fire ships as a distinct class were part of the British Royal Navy until 1808 at which point the use of permanently designated fire ships attached to British squadrons disappeared. Fire ships continued to be used, sometimes to great effect such as by the U.S. Navy at the Battle of Tripoli Harbour in 1804 and by the British Navy's Thomas Cochrane at the Battle of the Basque Roads in 1809 but for the most part they were considered an obsolete weapon by the early 19th century. Warships of the Age of Sail were highly vulnerable to fire, made of wood, with seams caulked with tar, ropes greased with fat, and stores of gunpowder. There was little that would not burn. Accidental fires destroyed many ships, so fire ships presented a terrifying threat. With the wind in exactly the right direction a fire ship could be cast loose and allowed to drift onto its target. But in most battles fire ships were equipped with skeleton crews to steer the ship to the target. Fire ships were most devastating against fleets which were at anchor or otherwise restricted in movement. At sea, a well-handled ship could evade a fire ship and disable it with cannon fire. Other tactics were to fire at the ship's boats and other vessels in the vicinity, so that the crew could not escape and therefore might decide not to ignite the ship, or to wait until the fire ship had been abandoned and then tow it aside with small maneuverable vessels such as galleys. 
The role of incendiary vessels changed throughout the age of the modern fire ship. The systematic use of fire ships as part of naval actions peaked around the Third Anglo-Dutch War, whereas just 20 years before a naval fleet might have six to seven fire ships. By the Battle of Sol Bay in 1672, both the Dutch and English fleets employed typically between 20 and 30 fire ships, and sometimes more. By this time, however, admirals and captains had become very experienced with the limitations of fire ship attacks and had learned how to avoid them during battle. Great numbers of fire ships were expended during the Third Dutch War without destroying enemy men of war, and fire ships had become a way to harass and annoy the enemy, rather than destroy him. The successful use of fire ships at the Battle of La Hogue and Cherbourg in 1692 marked both the greatest achievement of a fire ship attack since the Spanish Armada, and also the last significant success for fire ships. Though fire ships as a specified class sailed with the British Royal Navy for another century, they would never have a significant impact on a naval victory. Once the most feared weapons in naval arsenals, fire ships had declined in both importance and numbers, so that by the mid-18th century only five to six British fire ships would be at sea at a time, and the Royal Navy attempted only four attacks using modern fire ships between 1697 and 1800. Hastily outfitted ad hoc fire ships continue to be used in naval warfare, for example, a large number of fire rafts were used in mostly ineffective attacks on the British fleet by American forces during the American Revolution at Philadelphia, on the Hudson River, and elsewhere. The end of the modern fire ship came in the early 19th century when the British began to use hastily outfitted fire ships at engagements such as Boulogne and Dunkirk despite the presence of purpose-built fire ships in the fleet. The last modern fire ship in the British Royal Navy was Ties, the only designated fire ship out of the entire navy of 638 warships when she was converted to a ship sloop in 1808. Use in the Greek War of Independence In the Greek War of Independence, 1821-1832, the extensive use of fireships by the Greeks allowed them to counterbalance the Turkish naval superiority in terms of ship size and artillery power, as the small fireships were much more maneuverable than enemy ships of the line, especially in the coasts of the Aegean Sea where the islands Islets, reefs, gulfs and straits restrained big ships from being easily moved. They were a serious danger for the ships of the Turkish fleet. Many naval battles of the Greek War of Independence were won by the use of fire ships. The successful use of fire ships required the use of the element of surprise. It is considered an important landmark in Greek naval tradition. 19th and 20th centuries Obsolescence from the beginning of the 19th century Steam propulsion and the use of iron, rather than wood, in shipbuilding gradually came into use, making fire ships less of a threat. During World War II in September 1940, there was a British sortie code named Operation Lucid to send old oil tankers into French ports to destroy barges intended for the planned invasion of Britain. It was abandoned when both tankers broke down. Ships or boats packed with explosives could still be effective. Such a case was Operation Chariot of 1942, in which the old destroyer HMS Campbelltown was packed with explosives and rammed into the dry dock at Saint-Nazaire, France, to deny its use to the battleship Tirpitz, which could not dry dock anywhere else on the French west coast. In the Mediterranean, the Italian Navy made good use of high-speed boats filled with explosives, mostly against moored targets. Each boat, called by the Italians MTM, carried 300 kilograms of explosive charge inside its bow. Their best-known action was the 1941 assault on Suda Bay, which resulted in the destruction of cruiser HMS York and the Norwegian tanker Pericles of 8,300 tons. 
The successful attack by Yemeni insurgents in a speedboat packed with explosives on the guided missile destroyer Uskol in 2000 could be described as an extension of the idea of a fire ship. Another explosive ship attack took place in April 2004, during the Iraq War, when three motorcraft laden with explosives attempted the bombing of Koh Al Amir oil terminal in the Persian Gulf. In an apparent suicide bombing, one blew up and sank a rigid inflatable boat from US firebolt as it pulled up alongside, killing two U.S. Navy personnel and one member of the U.S. Coast Guard. Notable uses Notable fire ship attacks include, Alexander the Great's Siege of Tyre in 332 BC. The Tyrians used the fire ship in attempt to destroy Alexander's mole, Syracuse in their battle with the Athenian fleet. Huang Gai's attack on Cao Cao at the Battle of Red Cliffs, 208. Battle of San Juan de in 1568. John Hawkins' a flagship Jesus of Lubeck was attacked by a fire ship before being stormed by Spanish seamen. Siege of Antwerp in 1585. Both fire ships and exploding vessels were employed together for the first time. Francis Drake's attack on the Spanish Armada moored at Gravelines in 1588. The fire ships did no damage, but the Spanish scattered in panic and were easy prey for English ships. Martin Tromp's attack on the Spanish fleet moored off the Kent coast in the Battle of the Downs in 1639. The Spanish fleet was destroyed. Michiel de Reuter's attack on the anchored English fleet at the Battle of Sol Bay in 1672 in which HMS Royal James was burned, killing Vice Admiral Edward Montagu, 1st Earl of Sandwich, and wounding Royal James S. Captain Richard Haddock. The destruction of 15 French ships of the line, including Soleil Royal, Admirable and Triomphant, in 1692, after the Battle of La Hougue. U.S. attack on Tripoli during the First Barbary War in 1804 by us intrepid. The Russian attack on the Turkish fleet at the Battle of Chesma, 1770. Thomas Cochrane's attack on the French in the Battle of the Basque Roads, 1809. Multiple successful Greek attacks on large Turkish ships of the line during the Greek War of Independence, 1821-1832. Chinese attacks on British ships during the First Opium War, 1839-1842.